In this series, I used the Loop Bloom Flowers with white tissue paper. I don't have a big acrylic block, so I had to figure out a different way to do it. I peeled the back of the stamp and placed it on my work surface. It didn't move at all. It stuck to the table. Now, I, knowing that I have to use the shiny side of the tissue paper, I inked the stamp. See, it doesn't move. I inked it generously, make sure I got all those little areas. Then, using the shiny side of the tissue paper, I placed it down. I rubbed it with my finger, making sure that it didn't move. By doing that, you'll get a nice clean print in all of the areas. Then, after I figured that out, I was off and running. Using the tissue paper will allow you to flip your image forward and backward and when you apply matte medium to it, it will go right through the tissue paper onto the canvas and will almost disappear. So that way I could flip the, fl the flowers backwards and forwards. When I work in a series like this, I always keep the canvases together when I'm working on them so that way they look like one cohesive piece and then they can be separated at the end.
I added a little bit of green to the top using the chicken coop stencil and also did the same to the bottom using the blue that I used in the sky to tie the piece together. But I switched directions of the stencil knowing that it will lead your eye around the picture. <laughs> 